This is the fourth video for the Ethics and Legal Considerations part of the Animal Chiropractic class. We'll continue with our discussion about the licensing statutes. And generally, the states have adopted one of three schemes for regulating animal chiropractic. The first and probably most common tactic is to make no mention of animal chiropractic. Uh, these states have definitions of the practice of veterinary medicine that include very general statements about care and treatment of animals, but don't ever make any specific mention of manipulation or chiropractic care. The second scheme actually includes animal chiropractic in the definition of practicing veterinary medicine. In these states, it is very clear that no one can practice animal chiropractic other than a licensed veterinarian. Now, in all these states that are either silent or the states that clearly include animal chiropractic in the definition of veterinary medicine, some supervision is required by a licensed veterinarian for an unlicensed person to adjust animals. And the questions to be answered are how much supervision is required and what qualifications are required to adjust animals? What qualifications should laypersons have? What, chiro what qualifications should chiropractors have? And what qualifications beyond a basic veterinary medicine education should the veterinarians have? And the last scheme actually allows chiropractors who have been properly trained and certified to adjust animals without supervision. Currently, Oklahoma is the only state that allows or follows that scheme. Some of the states get close to it, but nobody other than Oklahoma truly follows that. Basically, if the scope of veterinary medicine includes chiropractic, then only a veterinarian or someone acting under a veterinarian supervision may practice animal chiropractic. Now, for the veterinarians taking this class, they may, that may seem very basic and, and obvious. But for the chiropractors taking this class, keep in mind that unless you're practicing in Oklahoma and properly certified in Oklahoma, you must be practicing under the supervision of a veterinarian. Failure to do that may expose you to liabilities. In addition, veterinarians who are providing supervision want to be sure that they're providing supervision in a way that complies with the statutes or the regulations because if they fail to comply with that state law, they may expose themselves to liability. So as I mentioned earlier, many of the states are silent. Uh, actually, a majority of the states are silent and do not mention or refer to animal chiropractic or manipulation. There is one case out of North Carolina. It was a trial court decision in a very unusual case where the chiropractor was able to argue that their license to practice chiropractic included uh, treatment of animals. In that particular case in North Carolina, the Chiropractic Act referred to the spines without limitation to the human spine. Now, I don't think that's a very good precedent to follow. First, because it's only a trial court. And second, I think most, if not all, of the Chiropractic Acts clearly refer to treatment of human patients and not to treatment of animals. So I point that out more for the sake of letting you know that if you see that case, you shouldn't rely very much or rely at all on it. I think a more common uh, finding is this decision out of Michigan. The scope of chiropractic was found to not include the treatment of animals, even though the statute did not mention animal chiropractic. The court reviewed the Michigan Chiropractic Act found that the act made references to the spine 
without limiting it to human spines, but the act also included other sections that referred to human patients and human spines. As a result, the court found that the scope of chiropractic did not include treatment of animals, which means the chiropractor was liable for practicing veterinary medicine without a license. This opinion of the Attorney General in Arizona makes a similar finding that chiropractic does not include treatment of animals. A chiropractor solely by holding a license to practice chiropractic is not authorized to perform acts which constitute the practice of veterinary medicine. In other words, chiropractors can treat human patients with a chiropractic license, but not animal patients. This decision out of Pennsylvania uh, dealt with acupuncture, but made very similar findings or analogous findings to the idea about chiropractic in animals. The Veterinary Act made no mention of acupuncture as being part of the uh, uh, treatment of animals. But even though the Act did not include the, a specific reference to acupuncture, it included a general statement about, a very broad and general statement, about the scope of veterinary medicine. And because of that, the State Board uh, or the Attorney General, rather, found that the State Board of Veterinary Medical Examiners could regulate the practice of acupuncture on animals by veterinarians. So it was regulated by the Veterinary Board, not by a acupuncture board. Now about 20 states, or a few more than 20 states, have actually included animal chiropractic or manipulation of animals as part of their definition of veterinary medicine. Uh, Alabama has a very typical definition. As you can see, the, the definition of the practice of veterinary medicine is very broad. It includes all types of procedures, including animal chiropractic. Um, it, and part of the reason I show you this is not for you to focus on the specifics of the definition, but to make sure you understand that the definition of veterinary medicine is very broad. So that means that other persons without a veterinary license will not be allowed to diagnose, treat, etc. for animals. Now, another part of the definition of practice of veterinary medicine is holding yourself out to the public as a veterinarian or somebody who is willing to treat animals. And that creates a particular difficulty. We'll talk more about advertising later, but that creates a difficult situation for chiropractors who are animal chiropractors. It can be very challenging to understand the state's rules and to advertise in a way that's legal. Uh, of course, it's also illegal to hold yourself out as a veterinarian unless you actually have a veterinary license. And as we've talked about before, it is not okay to hide behind the title of doctor. If you are not licensed as a veterinarian you, and you're dealing with animals, you should make it very clear uh, what your licensing is. Uh, Texas has also made it very clear that animal chiropractic is the practice of veterinary medicine. The regulations specifically include that requirement or, or that definition, rather. Uh, Tennessee is another state that includes animal chiropractic in chiropractic therapy, in veterinary therapy. Uh, here's a list of states that I've compiled, or the statutes of states that I've compiled that, that include the definition of animal chiropractic or manipulation of animals within the definition of veterinary practice. So the key in this section is to remember that if the state, unless the state is specifically designated that chiropractors may treat animals without supervision, they must provide treatment under supervision. In the next section, we'll talk more about the different levels of supervision and what kind of supervision is appropriate for unlicensed, for people who are not licensed as veterinarians,